long time today. We sure have, and the players also have <laughs> Lyric. They want to get into it just as bad as we do Zomba vs. Jackal. Game one on Pokemon Stadium. Yep. And I, real quick, walk them through neutral here as game one starts because I have a very interesting statistic I would like to confirm. Is it uh, how many times Jackal and Zomba have started on Pokemon Stadium 2 in their entire career? No, no. Oh, okay. That would be something that I would want to see. Still, though, uh, starting out as, like, anything, like, if, if you are Tri-State, you've seen this matchup a hundred times. It's just Ooh, where have close. you seen it first? It's actually close. Not a hundred times, but it is currently 52 to 33. Wait, oh my goodness. <laughs> so <laughs> we're almost almost a hundred times, but it is Zomba favored by a uh, cool 20 or so. Uh, it fairly even, though, if you think about, like, hey, they played 80 times, like, <laughs> 20 isn't so bad. Yeah, but. definitely not. Still, though, good DI, and Ooh. you would expect that. But unfortunately, the second one too close to the blast zone. And that is going to be Zomba taking the first stock. But here comes Jackal right off the Angel platform, fighting that back air, trying to read the way that Zomba gets up from ledge. Nice. I think that's one of the things that I think level two Smash learning is, like trying to call out habits from the ledge. Because if you're able to get like a jump back air from ledge. You're looking really good, but it's a matter about finding it, AG. Right, right. Right there, you have a bit of a functional frame trap from Zamba, leading into nice back-to-back -back forward airs, but really nice early flash. And another up smash, not going to steal that stock quite yet, but looking to line up an up chiller back around that platform. It's kind of tough. Another up smash almost coming out right there, but Zamba, really quick boxing options to break it up. It's finally going to be that forward tilt. Evens it up two stocks apiece, and Frankly, like sometimes the percent doesn't really matter in this matchup. I'd like to call it even, but Zamba looking to take the stock anyway. Yeah, that's the thing though with Zamba. And the thing is he has a bracket full of fast fallers at this point. So honestly, Zamba can kind of grind out a lot of like the misplays that he was doing versus light with the rotor arms now and then kind of be ready for it in Grant. Finds a couple of the pokes of the up tilt, but I like the down tilt from Jackal and finds the Nair as well. I mean, the Nairs are so well placed from Jacko, but the right. thing is, Zamba is disengaging really well that he's rolling away, and Wolf doesn't really have the tools to really close out when you're that far away. Sure, you have dash attack, but it can be punished pretty easily. Right, and we're seeing that too. Really good option, like you said, just kind of get out of there, because Jackal, even if, you know, you, you know you're not fast enough, sometimes you think maybe this will be different. Maybe that dash attack will land, and if you miss that dash attack, if, if Zamba gets the shield up in time, huge punish opportunity. Neutral air, on the ground, gonna take that stock at 156 after the hit, and Zamba looking pretty comfortable, but can't really take one, maybe two hits here, or it'll be even again. Yeah, once again, one one more call out on a jump here can potentially do it here. There's the back air, it's not going to be enough here. Jackal trying to line up, especially for a down smash, jumping over the big laser, but finds a nair. Still not going to be enough, no rage on Jackal, and that's going to be unfortunate, because now you don't want to let Zamba get anything started. Beautiful call out on the up air onto the platform, though, as we are all going to go to final stock here on game one. Really good option there, too, from Jackal. Putting your back at the ledge covers a lot. Obviously, Wolf's kill throw the back throw in that spot, but you can also chase to get the roll on, or as we saw, a jump with the up air to cover the jump on. Really good coverage right there. And Zombie putting together a down tilt in the down tilt right now, and it covers the roll with that laser as well. Good stuff, but big opportunity for Jackal, and another nice tech roll in from Zombie. Yeah, that's the thing, right? What we saw last set, really kind of those beautiful strings across the stage from Jackal, right? Like we're seeing a little bit now, right? The forward airs, just the unrelenting aggression coming out from Jackal, we're not seeing because honestly, Zamba is so comfortable resetting versus Jackal. So you know what, find the opportunity again, I dare you. Right. But now last stock, trying to get something started, finds the oh. up tilt, good air dodge through, but Zamba unable to get anything off of the jab right after. So we're back into neutral right now, trying to get something started, but still both players playing a little a little bit more reserved than they have been this tournament. It's very tense right now, too. That was a really good drift away. Ooh. Oh, no. Where are you going? Oh. Yeah. Me too. I didn't like yeah. that. <laughs> it was a really good drift away that Jackal had in that up air scare that we saw center stage. No way. Really good <laughs> defensive options, but I think maybe Jackal is a little too concerned with the outer game of tennis right now, and I think maybe some introspection is needed. So apparently Zamba can't read chapter four yet because not everybody's on chapter four yet. In the book club. <laughs> In yeah. the book club. Okay. I right. actually, I asked, I was like, oh, Zamba, what's your favorite chapter? He's like, chapter three. And I was like, which one is that? He's like, um, <laughs> he went to go check. Never, never a dull day yeah. hanging out with Salvatore Zamba. <laughs>
Anyway, uh, getting started already with a what could have been a very disastrous start for Jackal here. Going to be able to narrowly escape here, but Zomba's still playing like half reserved, half aggressive. Right, and right. I think that's what's kind of tripping Jackal up is that the tempo of the match is just not really kind of like cementing itself to where he can get comfortable with a lot of these strings. Still, though, the roll behind will not be punished by that laser. And Jackal just trying to get something started, but can't. Yeah, it's just been a couple straight hits here and there. Neutral air, a really good combo starter, but the defensive options from Zamba have just pretty much all been, for lack of a better word, correct. Getting out of the thick of things pretty much every time and Jackal not able fa like, to be fast enough to find those follow-ups, and it's not really working out. Even those neutral airs that were so good in the last game too, the timing isn't being mixed up enough. Zamba's keeping the shield up for exactly the right time, and we're not seeing those follow-ups quite as often, for Jackal at least, but... Good old fashioned catching the jump with a back air. We'll do it. You said catching a jump right here comes what? Zombo right back <laughs> into it with an up tilt up air of his own. And now here comes Jackal finally finding his own pace in this match. Trying to get something started here, trying to get this lead up a little bit more. I mean, 72%, definitely not a bad consolation prize, but still finds the narrow to shield and the laser. But here comes Zomba, finds it down tilt, can't find much else though. So here comes Jackal with the run up grab forward throw. Great gyro though to kind of mess up Jackal's edge guard, at least for the moment, but still finds that down smash. And Jackal roaring back into the set. Yeah, a bit of a misinput there over on the right side. Yeah. And the free grab is usually pretty spectacularly punished, but especially so by that wolf down smash. So I'm gonna have to fight back. Could definitely make something happen. We pretty much just need a grab here to take this first stock, especially under that platform, which you kind of see Zamba baiting out a little bit. Ooh, okay, that also works, and I love that too. Why? Just rolling in to go with the up till instead, because you think, you know, you want Jackal to think you're baiting that grab, but really good stuff. And it's gonna be the neutral here to set up the edge guard. Yeah, not pretty either. Jackal gonna pop up off the ledge, but unfortunately for Zamba, unable to find the up air, at least off stage, will be able to find it on. And now we are on to last stock here. I'm interested to see, and I'm kind of going to be watching Jackal a little bit more rather than Zamba, at least for the moment, because I want to see if Jackal's going to just say, you know what, let me take your patient pace and then play at it better than you. Trying to read the roll in with the down smash, unable to find anything. There's the Nair, Ooh. and we'll get the follow up back throw here. Still 114, or one. 14 to 116 now on Zamba. Has to decide which way he's going to. No He decided way. up, I guess. He <laughs> is currently. He, is, he took a sip of the Red Bull. <laughs> he might need another sip. <laughs> he took a sip of the Red Bull. What are you doing? I think he's waiting on the next All game. All I'm going to say is a lot of people don't like Zamba, but I think Zamba just plays into it. Zamba's yeah, like, funny, Zamba's like, I'm a villain, sure, but like, I don't care. Yeah, he said, hold on, I need me a sip. <laughs> a big sip. Yep. Put Shouts it in the sippy cup. <laughs> One more shout to House on the production. The fact <laughs> that the player cam also zoomed in and we have the replay for it. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Oh, I guess that didn't taste very good. No. He <laughs> <laughs> that, that face did not belie uh, enjoyment of that beverage. Team but Monster might be winning yeah, the Yeah, I was going to say, in more ways than one. Hold on. I definitely had a... Let's I see. Hold on. Can we get Jackal's face? Oh, the hat masks it, but no. He's going back for seconds. You saw that lick on those lips? <laughs> Team Monster all the way. All right, next game here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I definitely like, I had the TO get me a monster earlier. I was like, dude, I'm dying. He's like, we need to lock in. <laughs> <We need> <laughs> I was like, all right, we're locking in. So I'm running off of a monster too. All so right, going right. on to battlefield here though. So I wanna see if Zamba's gonna be able to one, adjust, two, find a rotor arm combo because honestly, we haven't seen too much of it. The wolf flash onto stage actually gonna put Zamba into enough hit stun for Jackal to be able to respond right now. There's the Ooh. down tilt, going for the down air, but still Jackal gonna actually take the slower route back up to stage here. There's the Nair, but the getup attack actually going to throw Jackal off the timing. Down tilt. Oh. It's the jab here. So we're taking some very interesting routes around AG. Jackal trying to line up for the for the finisher. Finds the Nair, but Zamba wants nothing to do with it. Okay. Still up tilt, up air, not going to be enough. And now Jackal has to find a way down. Right. Whether Jackal knew it or not, that big jump up into the up air was pretty ambitious, pretty committal. And we see Zamba try to capitalize on it now. This is a huge down tilt to take center stage. Gyro, a really good tool right there, but we just see it immediately invalidated, getting caught by that neutral air. And now with Jackal on the hunt. Oh my goodness, that was such a big swing, but Rob not fast enough to get off of that top platform. Back to the projectile game. So scary, especially in a game number three. There's a 
there's the momentum shift. Jackal just saying, you know what? If you're going to passively do nothing, bet. So will I. But speaking of a stock taken, Jackal or Zamba going to find a stock of his own here. And now it's all up to each player. How do we decide how we want to approach here? It's been such a defensive neutral from both players. Good parry, but here comes Zamba. Finds a dash attack in, but here we go. These long strings from Jackal. They hurt so much when he's able to really kind of lock in and keep going with it. But still, there's the gyro just being such a jerk there, messing up all of Jackal's momentum. And now he has to find that opening in neutral again. Okay, the forward air, nice use of the air to air right there. Really good stuff. Trying to mix it up, or at least create some spot to land. Zamba throws a gyro down and out to try and find something. Huge opportunity here, but finds a way down again. I love the neutral air timing. Even right there, out of shield from Jackal. Amazing stuff. Not going to find that back air good DI to get out of there from Zamba. Still keeping it up, though. Really good pressure from Jackal on that back air. will do it. Zamba on the last stock this game. Jackal looks pretty confident going into it. Yeah, honestly, if I'm Zamba, I think I want to take away a lot of these movement options from Jackal, right? right? I feel like, well, if anything, Jackal is utilizing the platforms much better than Zamba is. But here we go, a long, beautiful string to net about 50%. Now 61 here on Jackal. The getup attack will be punished with that Nair. And still, Jackal holding onto the stock so extremely well. Going to be able to find the reverse hit of the Nair into the dash attack here. Looking at Zamba, how is he able to recover? It seems like Jackal has an aerial for every answer here. There's the Nair, though, trying to find the up tilt. But once again, Jackal utilizing the stage so much better than Zamba, using that top platform as actually an escape route. And not necessarily just top platform down. It was top platform, side platform, back to the top platform sometimes, back to the ground, others. Really good routes, really mixes up a lot of your opponent's options or their confidence, too, if they think you are going one way, you end up going the other way. They can definitely waver in that confidence of their punishes, but that parry into the up tilt will do it, and Jackal looked spectacular that game. Gave off the, the fist of like A happiness, yeah, too, right? Yeah. Like the clutch, right? Saying, all right, I'm, I'm really locked in, Team Monster. <laughs> Look at, I, I gotta say, can we, can we take a look back at the stage, please? We gotta pick up, our, our, pick up our trash, okay? A couple Listen. water bottles. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a very involved thing that they have going on. They need to stay hydrated. They need to stay energized. And sometimes you just want and a little bit that's with the yeah bug. right and <laughs> fresh breath with the tic tacs. And you have your headphones for your music, you know. And you have so many things a Smash player right. needs. You need your hand warmer. You need to get out of this combo. What the heck is going on? Yeah, not pretty here. I'm very surprised. Uh, Zamba didn't go for the second forward air here, but finds the reverse hit of Nair and the forward air too. Wolf Flash on stage, but instead of a grab, Zamba actually going to go for the jab here. Ooh. Good spot dodges. Now Zamba has definitely solidified himself back in, but what a match from Jackal. That was so quick. And now he's able to actually turn around, get a combo of his own. With a little bit of rage too. We can see what happens, but beautiful pivot grab from Zamba. Looking a lot better as he lines up that back air. Yes, a pretty ambitious jump forward air from the ledge. Getting scouted out and punished wonderfully by Zamba. And now taking a slow route, gonna slow it down. Which is exactly what you need to do here, especially with the lead. And if you do see an opportunity, you could definitely run away with it. A quick 50 onto Jackal, and now Jackal trying to make something happen at the ledge. Jab is not exactly what we're looking for, but we'll definitely take that damage as opposed to none. I love the way that Zamba actually just like walked Ooh. up to the ledge there. Say, you know what, like let me just play it a little bit slower. Right. But still, Jackal going to be able to find the up smash that does take that stock and now has to play from the back foot just a little bit. But I want to see that very confident Jackal in defense again. Oh. I, like here, right? Say, you know what, I'm going to wait for you to get a little bit antsy, then kind of pull the trigger and find the combo of my own. It's the thing about Jackal that I love the most is that his combo game is so tight here. There's the forward air from Zamba. Jackal going to whip the grab but now it is going to be Zamba having center stage, but there's the Nair down into the jab from Jackal, and now Jackal has to figure out how we're able to bring this back. He is able to find a Nair dash attack, but here comes Zamba, lands a Nair of his own, He's trying to get something started here. There's the forward air, wow. but Jackal now locking back in with all these parries. There's the Nair, but great air dodge onto the stage by Zamba. Now we're getting a little bit more aggressive here, but there's a grab. Back throw is going to be the option, trying to mix up the DI. Jackal going to just oh. empty hop here, finds the back air, but he's unable to find the stock AG. Yeah, so many huge decisions were made over on the left side of the stage. Doesn't get the roll in. Reed, it's going to be the up smash from Jackal. Zamba on possibly the last stock of the tournament. 
and Jackal looks so, so confident right now, picking all the right options, going for maybe a few risky ones as well, but it's kind of working out so far. All right, big forward tilt though from Zamba. Gonna try and get the edge guard here to even it up. The down tilt is huge. It's gonna lead into that drop zone fair. You are not making it back from there. Good stuff to Zamba. We are down to the wire here in game four. If he didn't have Gyro, I actually think he could have made it back. Yes. But still, though, double Nair here, trying to read where Zamba was going to go in terms of the roll. But here comes Zamba. There's the landing Nair from Jackal, and now Zamba has to go high in the sky. Kind of buy himself some time at this point. I mean, try and slow Jackal down, too. That's the thing with the spaces, right? When they're really feeling themselves, they get aggressive here. But still, Jackal's going to call out the Nair with the forward air and catching out the jump with the up air, too. Oh. Reverse Nair, but still going to be able to read the roll. Throw behind. Jackal could be lined up to take this right now. Oh. And instead of the up air, he actually goes for the back air, netting him the stock and the set. Beautiful stuff from Jackal. As Zamba going to be eliminated at third place. And we will be seeing a tale of two spaces in Grants. Unbelievable stuff. And I have to give a shout out to the star of the show. Gyro. Wolf Neutral Air, oh, actually. Uh, the star of every wolf yeah, show. Let's yeah. be honest but here. I, like, <laughs> all right, I, I need to shout out because the way Jackal does it is so interesting. Like, even if you know he's going yeah. to Neutral Air, the aerial timing, the way that he uses it, not necessarily always as an approach, but as a way to like cover roll in or spot dodges. Because of that timing, you kind of expect it to hit the top of your shield. Mm -hmm. You maybe want to parry it when it hits the top of your shield, but he won't throw it out. He will wait. And then just before landing, throw out the neutral air. Really good adaptation, by the way, there from Jackal as well. Getting in that fist bump instead of a you know rock meets paper situation. Oh, thank God. But <laughs> the neutral air was so, so astounding. I would